And Summit County and the Uinta Basin took different approaches to vaccines and had vastly different results. Robert Gerke joins us live via Zoom to explain. Robert, good morning. Let's talk about the comparison you did and what you found. Yeah, good morning, guys. Um, so I was, I've been going through this COVID data for what feels like ever now, and it's something jumped out at me last week when I was looking at it, and that is you've got these two health districts. You've got Summit County, and then you've got what they call Tri-County. It's Daggett, Duchesne, and Uinta counties, and they border each other. But for the last several months, uh, Summit County, the, the, the infection rate in this tri-county area, in these three counties, has been off the charts. It's astronomical. They've had the highest infection rate in the state. And, and next door, in Summit County, they've had the lowest. And, and, and you can only point to one thing, really. It's Summit County has this sort of astronomical uh, uh, vaccination rate. They've had 86% of eligible residents who've been vaccinated so far. 98% of eligible residents have had at least one shot. And, and while they were very high, and if you remember back to last year, they were one of the worst spots in the country, they remained high through the early part of this year, and then it's just plummeted. And, and whereas the rest of the state is, is rising, uh, Summit County has seen a decline. And, and the flip side of that, Tri-County has a very low inf uh, vaccination rate, and have seen these, these uh, infection rates shoot up. And it just points to the inescapable conclusion, I think, that these vaccines seem to be working in these in these two districts. Have they done anything that? different in Summit County in terms of incentivizing vaccines or anything that you know of other than the fact that just more people are getting vaccinated? You know, I, I talked to the health director and he said that, the, that they've had good buy-in from the community, not just on the vaccines, but they uh, people have been amenable to the mask requirements that have been in place, uh, thing, other interventions that they've taken along the way. But he said that it's really this vaccination that is, is putting him on, on the right course. And he says he gives credit to the people who are eager and, and willing to, to get out there and get the shots. Uh, again, like I said, in, in Tri-County area, they're still below 30 percent, um, you know, overall on their vaccination rates. And it's 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 having consequences, really, unfortunately. And it's not just the consequences in the uh, in the uh, infection rate. They're also seeing a higher hospitalization rate than they had earlier in the year and, and unfortunately have uh, the highest, highest death rate in the state as well. So, you know, there's, we've been, we've been people, the doctors, health experts, politicians, religious leaders, all of these people have been saying, go get your shots uh, because they work. And it's, and this is clear and convincing evidence that it, they do. Is there some aspect to it that maybe people in these rural areas feel a little safer, like they're out of the way, they don't need to worry as much about COVID? You know, I think there may be some of that because, like we said at, at the beginning, the Tri-County area for the first year of the pandemic was the lowest in the state. They had the lowest infection rate in the state. And then you hit, get, get this Delta variant, and it's just so much more contagious that if there was a, a sense of security by being more remote, not, you know, packed together with your neighbors and so forth. It, that's that's gone away now with this Delta variant just because it's so much more contagious. And there are so many people left out there who who aren't vaccinated that it's it's going to continue to spread until we get this done. Duchesne County in particular has been the, the, the highest rate of infection in the state for the last month and a half at least. And so, you know, it's it's I, I can't stress it enough. If, if people live, no matter what county they live in, but especially if they're in this tri-county area, if they go out and get the vaccine, it's going to help try to tamp down this spread, which is still, you know, we had to, we had a week down, uh, a week of decreases. Now it, it was a week up. And so, you know, I think we I think we're still not out of the woods yet. All right. Well, folks can read about those numbers that speak volumes. Just check out Robert Gerke's column, saltlaketrib.com. Robert, thanks so much. Have a great week. Bye-bye.